Hi friend, you know that the quality of the part is very important for us because the quality can affect the safety, performance and the function of the part. We want the product free from the defects. In this video, we will discuss the defects occurring in the injection molding process. Most of the time, these defects in the injection molding due to the problems in the molding process that is flow rate, temperature or pressure material use and design of the product and design of the tooling or it may be combination of all. Most of the defects you can avoid simply by adjusting the flow rate, temperature and the pressure of your mold. No need to redesign the mold or replace any component. So you can see here these are the number of defects. We will discuss the defects one by one. So let's start. Flow mark. Flow mark appear as a wavy pattern and a slightly different color from the surrounding area. And generally it is appear on a narrower section of the molded component. They may also appear near the entry point of the mold. Flow mark won't impact on the product functionality but it will impact on the look of the product. For aesthetic and consumer product flow mark are unacceptable. And the cause of flow mark, it may be because of variation in the cooling speed of material as it flow in a different direction throughout the mold. Variation in the wall thickness can also cause the material to cool at different rates and causing to create the flow mark. For example, when injection speed is too slow, molten plastic cool very quickly during the injection process. And first layer of plastic become partially solid while still filling the mold causing the wave pattern or flow mark to appear on the product. So the solution over this defect we can increase the injection speed pressure and the material temperature to ensure the material feel in the mold before the cooling. We need to round the all corners of the mold where wall thickness is increased for the easy flow of material. We need to relocate the mold gate to prevent the material from early cooling during the flow. We need to increase the nozzle diameter to increase the flow speed and prevent the early cooling. Next defect is a warpage. Warpage is nothing but the deformation you can see in the picture that can occur when components shrink unequally or unevenly during the cooling process. The uneven shrinkage can cause the stresses in the part and when part is cool that stresses bend or twist the finished product. The main cause of warpage is due to the cooling happen too quickly. It may be because of long flat surface of the part and because of the material shrinkage. So the shrinkage increases with the wall thickness. The solution over the warpage is we need to make sure that the cooling process is gradual and long enough to prevent the uneven stresses in the material. We can lower the temperature of the mold or material. We need to use the material that shrink less during the cooling process. And we need to redesign the mold with a uniform wall thickness and part must be symmetric to ensure the stability in the part during the cooling process. Next defect is a void. Voids or air pocket are the trapped air bubble that appear in the finished molded component. Voids can weaken the molded part if more number of voids in the product. So the main cause of voids is because of not enough molding pressure to force the trapped air out of the mold cavity. The voids are more difficult to avoid in the molded part. If the part thickness is more than 6 mm. So 
the solution over the voids in the product is we can raise the injection pressure so that we can force the trapped air out of the mold we can choose the good grade of material with the lower viscosity to limit the risk of air bubble forming and we can place the gate close to the thickest part of the mold to prevent the early cooling next one is a sink mark sink mark are the depression on the flat and consistent surface of the molded part during the cooling of molten plastic material shrink and pull the outside material towards the inside and form the depression on the component generally the sink mark occur in the thicker part of the component so wherever the more thicker part is there there will be the sink mark so if our product having the variable wall thickness then there may be the chances of sink mark will be there the solution over the sink mark is we can increase the pressure and time to allow the material near the part surface to cool and we can increase the cooling time to limit the shrinkage we can design our mold with a thinner component wall to allow faster cooling near the surface and mostly we have to design the part with a uniform wall thickness next one is a weld line weld line is also known as neat line it is a defect that occurs when the injected plastic meet within the mold the molten plastic meet each other as they flow from two different part of the mold and form the weld line weld line is the result of weak material bonding which lower the strength of the part the main cause of weld line is because of inadequate bonding of two or more flow when there is a partial solidification of the molded plastic so the solution over the weld line is we can increase the material temperature to prevent the partial solidification we can raise the injection speed and pressure to limit the cooling before the material has filled the mold we can redesign the mold to eliminate the partition we can switch to material with the lower melting temperature or viscosity to allow the faster flow and prevent the early cooling next one is a short shot short shot occur when the flow of molten material does not fill the mold cavity it is a incomplete filling of the mold cavity so in the final product we will get this type of defect short short are major defect that can affect the function and appearance of the molded part so the most common cause of short short is flow restriction resulting from narrow or the block gates so there are some restriction in the flow the solution over the short short is we need to redesign the mold with a wider channel or gate for the better flow next one is the jetting jetting is the one kind of deformation in the molded component that occurs when molten material is injected with a high velocity into the mold cavity that start with that started to solidify before the cavity is filling so before cavity is filling the some material is start to solidify or partially solidify so this visible flow pattern can result in the part weakness it is a situation where molten plastic failed to stick to the mold surfaces due to the high speed of injection the main cause of jetting 
is because of the excessive injection pressure so the solution over the jetting is we can uh, reduce the injection pressure to prevent the rapid squirting of material into the mold cavity we can increase the material and the mold temperature to keep the initial jet of material from solidifying early and we can de design the mold with the injection gate located in such a way that the material is directed across the mold rather than lengthwise next one is the flash flash is a extra material that appear as a thin protrusion at the edge of the component flash occur when some plastic material escape from the mold cavity typically the route of escape are through parting line and ejector pin location and we can trim the excess material after the cooling of the molten material so the flash can occur when mold is not clamped together with the enough force and if the injection pressure of the molten material is greater than the clamp force at that time flash will occur so some material will escape from the mold cavity so how we can tackle this defect we need to clamp the mold properly with the proper force uh, we need to increase the plate clamping force to confine the material flow to the channel next one is the delamination delamination is the defect where the manufactured part fracture into layers it is a thin surface of layer of molded part that are easily removing from the final product due to the contaminant material so this is generally very serious defect because it reduces the strength of the component some layers are easily removing from the final product the main cause of the delamination is is due to the contamination of material with the foreign material so there is some contamination with the foreign material uh, when two materials cannot bond properly at that time also this defect we can see in the moisture in the material so moisture in the material are present at that time also uh, we can see these types of defect and the shrinkage stresses and uh, cooling can cause the cracking that lead to delamination or uh, due to the fault in the injection molding process or due to the due to the machinery also this defect we can see in the product so the solution over this pro, uh, defect is we can increase the mold temperature or pre dry the material properly if excess moisture in is the issue ensure the worker are properly storing and handling the resin pellet or the material to prevent the contamination consider the redesigning the mold with the focus on the injection nozzle to limit your dependence on release agent we need to smooth out the corner and sharp turn in the mold design next one is a discoloration discoloration is a change in a color of product change in a color of final product from the original color in some area so this defect affect the appearance of the part without re uh, reducing its strength so it won't impact on the strength so the main cause of this uh, defect uh, so this defect can uh, arise from multiple source such as overheating contamination or manufacturing error so and it may be because of poor thermal stability of the coloring agent the solution over this uh, discoloration is we need to ensure that worker properly clean the hooper nozzle and the mold during the production run burn mark is the defect appear as a black or the burn area on the edge of the plastic component so the causes of the burn mark because of the overheating of the trapped air and the excess injection of the speed because of the excess injection speed the heating overheating and 
that causes the burn mark so the solution over this uh, defect is we can lower the temperature of material and the mold to prevent the overheating and we can reduce the injection speed to limit the risk of trapping air inside the mold and we can enlarge the gas vent and the gates to allow the trapped air to escape from the mold and we can shorten the mold cycle time so that any trapped air and the resin don't have to chance to overheat so this defect generally occur because of the overheating of the mold that burn the burn the edge or the surface of the plastic part thank you for watching the video if you like this video share with your friend and spread the knowledge and if you are not yet subscribe the channel please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get the notification of newly uploaded videos thank you for watching see you in the next video